welcome back once again so uh, we are going to uh, start our episode number 11 and uh, i will build a new uh, virtual machine for cisco call manager version 15 su2 and uh, with the help of ova i will uh, just build the vm and then we'll do the installation and uh, then we'll do the import of the configuration which we took uh, from the version 12.5 in our previous episode so i will share my screen now this is my uh, my vmware hypervisor and i will just uh, create here a new uh, vm and i will use the ova and i'll make it next and i will just select the ova template which i keep in the folder and uh, this is my uh, ova template okay so i'll just like this one i will mention here make it publisher okay and then make it next it will take uh, uh, the select storage i select as a data storage next and i will select the vm for here and power on automatically i will not make it right now this screen i'll make it thin i'll make it next and it will show me uh, the specs what it took from the ova template and i will make it finish now i'll go over here in the publisher and uh, i need to attach my bootable iso image so i'll just go over here in the action i believe i have to upload uh, the iso image first this is my bootable image let it be finish okay so my image uh, has been copied here so i will just go back to my virtual machine publisher and i'll go in the action edit setting this one select and power on this one i'll make it connect okay so uh, i believe we have done this one it take uh, automatically the hard disk 110 gb which is required and memory 12 gb so the resources are already available so uh, i will make it save and now i will make it power on uh, so guys the installation uh, process has been started for 15 su2 i'll make it okay it will verify the integrity of uh, the media of my iso image okay so the image was just tested and uh, successfully verified make it okay now it will detect the server uh, hardware for the specs and it will make sure that the resources are available as per uh, the required uh, required image for the cisco call manager version 15 i'll make it okay okay so now it's showing me the version which is uh, 15 version 15 i'll make it yes so guys uh, this is the option what i have discussed about uh, the import of the configuration normally when you do the installation you just make proceed uh, with the wizard and uh, normally you don't uh, uh, make attention on this import which you see over here so this is the thing here i will import the configuration from my old version which is version 12.5 so i will just select this one so guys uh, the process is running running right now from the uh, iso image and after this one it will ask me about my uh, sftp server where i have uh, stored uh, the the configuration as export and i will use the same information what i mentioned during the export of data and i have to make sure that the name and the ip address should be same what i used during the export of data otherwise your process uh, will be failed at any later stage 
so we have to make sure that the information what we entered is the best and the correct one so let's wait uh, for the for the option where it will ask me about the sfdp server information so guys the process is continue and uh, it will take uh, quite some time because uh, it's a long process for installing uh, the unified application uh, in the form of iso image and then it extract all the all the files and copy it in your cisco call manager so normally the installation timeline is up around 40 45 minutes or 1 hour sometime if there is uh, no issue happen and uh, the thing which is uh, need to be careful that uh, uh, the ntp server and dns server and network reachability should be there if it is not consistent or there is some reachability issue then at any stage your installation process will be failed so you have to make sure about all these things that these are reachable and do the test before starting the installation so uh, i'm waiting for uh, the the option where it will ask about uh, my sftp server and i will uh, enter the information to import data from my sftp server so let's wait and we'll see when it will ask about uh, this information so guys now it asking me the import upgrade configuration information and following scheme will configure network ip hostname for the node and import data from sftp server okay so this is very uh, important information here i will mention the ip address for my sftp server okay so i'll make it okay and uh, i will choose the time zone let me select the correct time zone okay nick i will keep it as continue mtu i will keep it same as it is default dhcp i'll make it no okay it is the host name of my uh, my call manager publisher okay then ip address 10 to 20 100 ip mask and the gateway okay so this is my host name ip address and subnet mask and gateway and uh, make sure it is correct i'll make it okay it will check the network connectivity now okay so now it will ask about uh, the dns i'll make it yes i'll mention the primary and i'll mention the secondary i'll mention the domain okay i'll make it okay since i i have mentioned the dns so you have to make sure that uh, uh, the the dns entry is already created in the uh, on your dns side as a forward and reverse lookup so it is also an important it's uh, actually uh, it's not uh, a compulsory but it is better if you have the dns uh, record already created in your uh, in your server side okay now this option is very important this is the main uh, our difference between a normal installation for the call manager and if we do the import option to get the configuration copied during the installation this is a additional step uh, i will configure now this is my sftp uh, server ip address or the name i will give the ip address and 20 okay and then the export data directory what is this export data directory i will tell you right now so this is my uh, network folder where i where the where the ex, uh, import data is available so i have to copy this one okay cluster dash then the ip address so i will mention this information here so i will do one thing i will note down in the notepad first because if this do uh, i will do some mistake over here it will not uh, uh, copy the it will not import the configuration cluster 
okay let me check CLUSTER CLUS this one CLUSTER cluster okay so I will just make sure dash CLUS cluster 10 to 20 160 100 okay guys so uh, this should be exactly export data directory then I will mention the login this is the same login which I have used in the SFTP so I will just mention the password okay so CLUA cluster dash 10 to 20 160 let me make sure once again yes 10 20 160 100 CLUSDER cluster okay so now I will just make it okay and it will now start importing the configuration from the SFTP server from the old uh, virtual machine call manager 12.5 to the new call manager which is 15 SU2 so let's see So guys, if you see over here, it is showing copy data from import. So this is uh, showing that uh, the configuration import from SFTP server is going to be uh, successful and it will copy my all the configuration uh, successfully on the new uh, call manager, which is 15 SU2. So I believe there are two or three more steps uh, left. One, it uh, will ask about the NTP and then it will ask about the the node information that it is the first node or you are going to add it as a part of cluster because it is my publisher so i will make it as a first node and the same step i will do on the subscriber side same step only the difference what will happen that when it will ask me about the node i will mention it is part of a cluster only this difference in the subscriber and publisher publisher side first node in the cluster and the subscriber side second node as part of the cluster only this is the difference remaining all step will be the same i will do uh, the import configuration for subscriber at well but uh, as well but i will i'm just telling you at this stage what is the difference between installation of publisher and subscriber so let's wait for this part to be finished for copying data for import and you are, you can still uh, see that it is showing that the process is in the it is in the process and 90 percent has been done for import data from the sftp so let's wait for some more time so it will finish and we will continue uh, with our subscriber uh, import data uh, the import data uh, process okay uh, so guys finally uh, it is 100 uh, percent successful for import data and now it is asking me about the information about my organization. So I will just mention this information right now. And the unit I will just mention 10 location I will mention okay after that is this server the first node in the cluster this is the difference between installation of publisher and uh, subscriber because this is my publisher so I will make it uh, first node and it will ask me the NTP if NTP is not reachable your installation will be failed okay so make sure you have the NTP accessible either in terms of uh, Windows or your uh, network based NTP then I'll make a test okay so the NTP status is showing as accessible so it's better to test at this stage instead of proceed and later on you know my uh, installation has been failed because of NTP so just make it proceed and now it will check the hardware clock to the external NTP server 
so guys uh, almost we have done our most of the steps might be it will take some more few minutes because the information what it has required we already mentioned about uh, the import information for the sftp cluster information about the ip addresses everything is done so let it finish and then we will uh, close our episode number 11 and in episode number 12 we will do the same step for the subscriber to import the data and after that we will log in and we'll see that all the information is there or not so let's wait for some time and then i will update you okay uh, for the smtp do you want to configure smtp protocol host for this machine i will make it no and uh, this one i'll make it okay or i can make it disable no issue will call home service on systems that disable all call home service okay i'll make it disable Uh, so guys finally uh, the configuration for import on publisher has been done successfully and i will log in with the credential and i will tell you one thing here that the credentials are the same as it is which was in my previous version okay so everything copied to my new version 15 su2 so i will log in now And the first thing I will check with the command show version active that my which version is installed. And I will give command show version active. Okay. And it will show my current version and it's showing 1501. So guys, uh, this is uh, my episode number 11 for the import configuration on the publisher so in the next episode i will do the same thing on the subscriber side and import my configuration and then finally we will log in and check our all the services for the cluster services ntp services reachability and i will show you that my all configuration has been saved successfully copied from sftp to my new version so uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see you in the next episode for doing uh, import configuration on the subscriber and we will follow the same steps so stay tuned take care Allah Hafiz goodbye